in this session let's learn how to create a materialized view okay and the option we are going to use is on commit that means whenever data is inserted or updated or deleted in the base tables and a commit is performed we want to reflect those changes immediately on the materialized view okay so the syntax is create materialized view the name okay build immediate that means whenever we are creating the materialized view immediately we want the data to be pulled and stored in the materialized view okay refresh force that means it will try to attempt for a fast refresh and if it cannot do that it will do a complete refresh okay and we want it to be refreshed as soon as a commit is performed on the source table that is why we are mentioning the on commit as and this is the sql okay you can put any sql as long as it is not too complicated okay here you see i am using table name at the rate remote db this remote db is nothing but your remote link or a database link which exists in some other server okay you see i am accessing sales at the rate remote underscore db product at the rate remote underscore db that means i am referring to these tables present in some other server okay but for our demo i will not be using this because i don't have any remote server so i will be using a local server to demonstrate the creation of materialized view okay so this is the sql okay and how many rows i have i have about 88 rows okay so let me note that down okay 88 rows okay and let me create a materialized view create materialized view and i want to name it as sales underscore c underscore mv okay and we want this to be built immediate okay build immediate okay and we want a refresh of force and we want this to be refreshed on commit okay so on commit and as that's it that's all it's as simple as it is okay and now let me run this you see materialized view sales underscore c underscore mv is created now let's query this materialized view select star from okay let's see how many rows we have 88 rows right whatever the data we have in sales table and product table using this query we have pulled the data and stored in the mv sales underscore c underscore mv right okay now let me insert some data into sales okay so for that i will insert into sales values 12th jan 2015 Order ID 1589, product ID 101, customer ID 12, sales person ID 1000, quantity 20, unit price 20, sales amount 400, tax amount 40, and total amount 440. Okay, I'll close this and I'll insert the data one row inserted and let me commit okay before going to the mv let's execute this sql and see how many rows we have okay let's go back down you see totally 89 rows are there right okay now let's query the materialized view and let's see how many rows we have 89 you see automatically as soon as we inserted the row into the sales table and performed a commit the row automatically got refreshed in the materialized view cool right yes the same case with the update or delete okay if you delete any row immediately that row will be deleted from the 
materialized view. Similarly, if you update any row in the base table sales, it will immediately be updated in the materialized view. Okay, but I want to warn you whenever you are using the on commit option. Think about it. Whenever you are inserting the data into the sales table, immediately the data is being refreshed onto the materialized view. That means an extra operation is being performed, right? Yes, sometimes it can be costly. Okay, if you don't want the data to be refreshed immediately, don't go for it. Unless it's very important for you to be refreshed immediately, don't go for the on commit option. Okay.